Well, what you're seeing behind me is the actual uh, continent of Antarctica, the mainland. So uh, this is our first stop on the mainland and uh, our only stop. The rest of the places where we stop are islands. For most folks that come to Antarctica, it's a big thing to actually set foot on the continent. Most, if not all landings that we do on our excursions in the Antarctic Peninsula are on islands that surround the peninsula. That morning, we actually set foot on the continent at Portal Point. It was a bit tricky as we had some wet snow overnight. And once it was packed, it felt like Ottawa sidewalks after a snowfall. But under the surface, it was rocks. We made it out of there with no broken bones. Once back on board, as we sail further down the peninsula along the Gerlache Strait, we had the pleasure of seeing porpoising penguins and humpback whales graced us with their presence. We were hoping for a landing at Rangé Island, where Gentoo and Chinstrap penguins were nesting. By the time we arrived at Raja Island, the weather did not allow for a landing, so we had to settle for bumpy zodiac ride. For me, this was definitely a low point of the expedition. This was our third day in Antarctica, and we had not had a landing where a populated penguin colony was present. When you embark on such an expedition, you know that weather can play a key factor in your ability to make a landing. But I didn't expect luck and increased tourism to have such an impact on our experience. It was explained to me that when I first came to Antarctica, 14 years ago, there might have been half a dozen operators that offered excursion to the Antarctic Peninsula. Now there were around 70 operators competing for landing site. We had already seen two ships in the morning. The last time I was in Antarctica, I had not seen one ship during our whole excursion. The operators compete for landing sites and have to make their requests four to six months before the start of the season. And once on a site, they cannot land anywhere else, no matter what the site has to offer on that given day. Even if there might be a better site a few miles away. Seeing another ship landing their passengers on another beach not far from us while we were riding in the Zodiac didn't help increase my level of satisfaction. But now I had a better understanding of what was happening. It would get better.